there are a lot of people that feel like Facebook, now Meta itself, hasn't been fast enough to respond to the negative consequences of its products. I think there was a worker that came out in the Facebook papers in August 2020 that left and said, you know, Facebook only addresses things when they get dire. They don't do it fast enough. And then, of course, five months later, we had January 6th. Can Facebook move faster? And you're going to be in charge of the technical direction starting next year. Can you do more? Uh, if we took every single dollar and human that we had, uh, it wouldn't eliminate uh, people seeing speech that they didn't like on the platform. It wouldn't eliminate every opportunity that somebody had to use the platform maliciously. The alternative is to not, not have these tools. And there are people who believe these tools are fundamentally unsafe, that our democracy is less healthy, our health is less sound because of misinformation. We just shouldn't have these tools because we can't solve for this. Yeah, if your democracy can't tolerate the speech of people, I'm not sure what kind of democracy it is. I understand the speech of people can be dangerous, I really do. But like, that is what we are talking about, a fundamentally democratic technology. But I do believe in giving people more access to information and more access to connect with one another and not reserving those as tools for some small number of elite people. So I stand by the tools that we build. If you talk to a random person, do you use Facebook? Do you use Instagram? Do you use Snapchat? They do, and they like it. I think it's more complicated. I love the way that I'm able to connect with my cousins that live far away. Yeah. I don't feel better that COVID is worse in our country because of the spread of misinformation, some of which is happening on Facebook. Are you confident that the overall impact of what you do, not just the good, but the overall impact is better than if we didn't have these tools. The individual humans are the ones who choose to believe or not believe a thing. They're the ones who choose to share or not share a thing. I don't feel comfortable at all saying they don't get to have a voice because I don't agree with what they said. I don't like what they said. But when you look at the level of COVID misinformation that's spreading, are we still not getting it right when it comes to what speech is amplified on platforms like yours? Our ability to know what is misinformation is itself in question, and I think reasonably so. So I'm very uncomfortable with the idea that we possess enough fundamental rightness, even in our most scientific centers of study, to exercise that kind of power on a citizen, another human, and what they want to say, and who they want to listen to. Instead, we have, what do people want to hear? Which is really the best way to approximate the algorithm.